Hey, Marcus Conti reporting. Check this shit out. I got a guy, right? His name is uh, Albert Bashay. Did I get it right, Albert? Bashay? Albert Bashay Albert reporting. Albert Bashay. Uh, he's on. He's, he's in there. He's in there. You can't see him yet, but I'm going to, I'll bring him in in a second. So Albert is a, um, is a YouTuber and, uh, I, I looked at his numbers. Numbers is getting up there. He's over, got a thousand subscribers, a couple hundred videos. Guy's breaking out, man. Fucking guy's, guy's doing some shit here, man. So he must be talking about something good. So I caught one of his episodes, and I was, uh, it, it was good. I was, I was moved by it. He was talking about. Look, we're gonna try to dissect some of the, uh, the Q stuff. So without further ado, let me bring, let me bring. Uh, we bring Albert. Albert is now in the frame. Albert can't see me, but I could see Albert. But we all we all see Albert, Albert right now. So what's up, Albert? How you doing, man? What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Yeah, good to be here, Marcus. Uh, we, we, you know, we ran into each other a couple weeks ago in Chinatown for Chinese New Year. And uh, yeah, this Man. is this is this is a good collaboration. I, I like I like what you do. And uh, the fact that you called Jason Goodman out on his bullshit. It was awesome. <laughs> Well, thank you, man. That was, a, I mean, that was a chance. That was a chance meeting. I, I was just, it's like two ships kind of sailing in the night, you know, and you just run right. into each other. Right, it wasn't romantic in any way. No, not at all, no. <laughs> That's where Jason comes in, right? Jason Bottom, <laughs> right? Fucking, you know that, right? Yeah. You know that shit, right? That's a fucking rumor, man. That's, I didn't make that shit up, that... That that he that he did some did a dirty deed with fucking George Webb on his on <laughs> on on Jason's couch. I, I, would, I wouldn't doubt it. Now there's that's some reliable. That's the, first, that's the first I've heard of it. Could you could you expand on that? I mean that's that's well uh, there's there's a there is an allegation that that Jason sucked uh, George Webb's dick on his couch while Je while George Webb fell asleep drunk. Jason <laughs> sucked his dick, and then um, I don't know. I mean that's just. I didn't make it up. That's just that's just from you know some some people that fucking were there, right? So, it's crazy. first of all, can I say that is <laughs> awesome? Firstly, <laughs> and, and, and yeah. secondly, um, doesn't really surprise me. Uh, that's pretty funny, man. Well, I, I fucking bust. It is up. hilarious, and that's the first I've heard of it. So, I I actually worked with um, Patricia Negron uh, yeah. on Facebook, and she was kind Fish of. Uh, Suckered into that into that viper's pit, that that den of rats. Right. And uh, you know, I was I was trying to get her at, away from those guys for a couple of months, and I, you know, she finally did break away, and it was just net net a, a horrific experience for for her as well. So mm -hmm. anything, these guys are just bad news, man. All right. So you know, if it's for 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 whatever it's worth, I like what you're doing. I like um I like that you went against uh, uh you know the the Q movement. All right? So Q, in my yeah. view, is a uh, it's a problem in the sense that it seems to be a pacifier, right? a pacifier of sorts, and and uh, it's preventing people from getting off their ass and yeah. actually working working towards. So that's that's the view I come at. I don't think it's fake. I think it's a real phenomena. I just I I don't think it has anything to do with state. I think it's some sort of psyop, and I think you agree. But here's the things. Let's uh, let's start here. You said that um, I watched your video, and you said that uh, you 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 had evidence, or some some knucklehead online said that Soros, George Soros, was arrested in Guantanamo, and 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 Obama and 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 uh, George W. Are there as well? They're already there. So everybody's in. They're all locked up in 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 Guantanamo. What right. the hell is going on? What's that all about, man? It it's nonsense. That's what's going on. Yeah, Q Q is hope porn. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the information is totally fake. You know, the, the phenomenon is real. I agree with you, but it's a psyop. It's a it's a Trump -anzi Zionist psyop. To make you think that you know Trump's anointed by God, he's going to bring on the rapture, mm -hmm. and you know the Moshiach's going to be put in place in Jerusalem. He moved the temple. He moved. Oh, excuse me, the capital, right? So to create a third temple, whatever you want to call it, Marcus, this is all nonsense. The Marines never stormed Langley, right? Remember that one? Remember yeah. that? That was a doozy, no, I, right? No, I don't remember it. Do you, let me ask you this, Albert. Do you follow? Do you follow the uh, the the four chan and eight chan boards? No, you no. don't read it, so you're you're getting okay. Because I I certainly don't bother with it. I did 
very early on, and I I thought it was you know it was interesting, but it was it was kind of redundant to a lot of the things we already knew. So, all right, so you know, you know Eric yeah. Eric Prince saved right. uh, Young before the meeting. Do you, have you heard that one? Uh, the the McCain that that Trump launched Tomahawk missile attack after that false flag. You know, which whatever. false flag? The the fifth one. The the actual target was a John McCain Iranian nuclear facility in Syria. This is the level of insanity. Yeah. So the that, big the big that picture these people are operating on. Right. All right? So in your view, point, the big the big picture with Q is is that it's a it, Trump is draining the swamp. Right? Is that is that the gist of it? Yes, Trump, Trump is uh, anointed by God. Anointed he, by God. He is God's steward on a steward on this earth to uh, save the world. Right. Right. So you called it a psyop too. With uh, you, what, what do you think about like Jerome Corsi, J- Jordan Sather, young Jordan Sather? Right. These guys go. They went even Lionel Nation. Right. They all were were were, were headstrong and believable, believing uh, Q. What, what do you say to those idiots? What do you say to those guys? Well, 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 Tracy Beans, and there's dozens and dozens right. of others, you know, the soapbox patriots. Did you, did you see the part where they're like, hey, did you guys renumber the uh, the cue board? Remember that? The hot mic? I mean, no. there's so many <clears throat> there's so many examples of how this is out and out nonsense. A fraud. Right? Uh, complete nonsense. How many people, how many followers do you think this this Q thing has? Uh, from from what I see, it has millions of followers. Millions, but but so wow. does Joe Rogan and Alex Jones, Marcus. Right, right. Hey, hold on one second. I got to shut the door. Hold on a second. <clears throat> that was like that was like Trump at the empty podium for a second. My podium was empty. <laughs> so you heard Bernie Sanders is running for president. You heard that shit? Yeah, it's yeah. the day and hour. Listen, Marcus. Uh, the DNC won't cheat Bernie this time around. Signed think delusional. So? Signed what? Signed delusional. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Well, it's going to be interesting to watch because he's coming out swinging. He came out with all the policies, get money out of politics, you know. So right. he's a he's a formidable he's a formidable candidate. So no doubt, no doubt. So what else? I mean, are you a Trump supporter? You did you support Trump? No, no. no. No, no, I, 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 I voted for Jill Stein. I will never support a, an establishment <laughs> Zionist uh, Republican or an establishment Zionist Democrat. Uh, why does that surprise you know? me that you it, voted for Jill Stein? Let me ask Stein. you something, Marcus. Yeah, go ahead. Because that's who I voted I, for. I have a question for you. Yeah, please. What does a neoconservative red state Republican and a, a neoliberal blue state Democrat both have in common except for their ex- – besides being both avowed Zionists? They have, every, else, they have everything in common. They have in common. They have everything in common. They they uh, they take, you know, their politicians take money from the same donors. They they believe in a globalist kind of, you know, tax breaks for the wealthy. True. Everything everything less than that is uh, socialism. Uh, right. We you you know that it's it's the same. They they believe you know the 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 what we once thought as Republicans and uh, what we thought as as Democrats are now kind of. All move toward the mi- towards the middle, and what you have is the radical right and the what we would I guess the radical left, the people that actually, you know, want change in the country from the bottom up. And it, it seems that, you know, the the Trump uh, uh, make America great again crowd is is very similar. They have more in common with the Sanders crowd than than they think, and I think they're going to find that out as the uh, you know as the election. Uh, as the as the primary moves forward, you know. Yeah, I, I think all that's correct, but I was thinking more in lines of uh, child rape. Right. Well, I, I mean, I I don't know about all that stuff. I mean, PizzaGate, I don't really follow all that stuff. But but here's the deal, right? So so here we have we have Trump, right? I want to I want to set it up this way. So Trump is the president of the United States, right? And yeah. he promised. To drain the swamp, he promised to lock her up. He promised to build a wall. He promised millions of new jobs. He promised a booming economy, right? And the right. fact is, he's he's failed, you know, on on a lot of that, right? Uh, what he yeah. has what he has delivered, okay, he did some good in 
North Korea. That was kind of impressive, you know, de-escalating the wars. But then he escalates a, another war, starts a war in Venezuela. It was about to, anyway. Right? The right. intervention war. So would you agree that Q kind of is that, you called it, um, you, called it you know, a uh, Trump pansy psyop, hope yeah. porn. <clears throat> I call it, yeah. I use the word uh, hopium. Would you say that yeah. that's what's going on? That that it's a, a people that that just refuse to believe they've been duped. Is that fair? Yes, it's easier to lie to folks than convince them that they've been fooled. Right? That's yeah. absolutely true. And um, listen, it, this there, there's this is a very diabolical operation because there's a lot of sincere desperation out there, yeah. and and folks want to believe so desperately that this guy is different. You know, he wasn't an establishment politician. He's the antidote to the establishment. He's taken down the deep state. He's draining the swamp. You know, it's it's really a, a cynical, diabolical, op, uh, psychological manipulation by these uh, bastards that are preying on these people's desperation for change. Those people I feel bad for. I really do. Um, you know, it's hard not to feel empathy for folks that desperate to believe that there are such things as white hats. So you would agree that the that the mo that the 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 motivation behind it is to keep the Trump people in place and yeah. and not budge. Right? That's fair. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's to keep them. You know that. And then there's the, there's a whole. Uh, religious element ah, good. conservative good point christian zionist right-wing element you know that Faith, they, they right? Faith? on the, the hard strings of the evangelicals because that's the base that they have to keep right right faith right believe in the plan have right. faith believe in the plan it is very trust religious the isn't it? Trust trust, the plan. Remember, remember trust sessions yeah. how did that work out right you know, Come on, man. There's no, I mean, you know, the other part of it is I find that, uh, that most of the people, I mean, look, when I'm wrong, I, I admit it, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I think that's like, sometimes you're just wrong, you know? And, and, uh, you know, you take the bait and, uh, a lot of these, a lot of these, uh, guys are not coming clean, you know, like they're still running the same old, it's going to happen. Oh no, no. It's right around the corner. Don't quit before the miracle. That, that sort of talk, you know? Listen, these <clears throat> these guys, okay, David Wilcock. Okay, I don't know him. Ben Benjamin Benjamin Fulford. Okay, these guys have been talking about mass arrests since 2012. Seven years. Right. They've been talking about military tribunals. Okay, for seven years. Ah. so all so, of this all of this predates Q. It's, it's, yeah, it's all it's all pre Q stuff that I they're see. recycling. Ah, okay. you, you, you know, ha, have you seen David Wilcock? No, no, have I don't even know who he is. Couldn't even tell you who he is. Look at look at that guy. Okay, he, he's he's a, he's famous for being a ufologist, but he's attached a himself. A to ufologist, this. a UFOologist. Yeah, a UFO <laughs> guy. <laughs> okay, I never yeah. heard of that one, but go ahead. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he he's got a big following, man. I mean, yeah. uh, he's not he's not a small guy. He's he's got a big following, and uh, you know he he said that Q is now the official spokesman for the alliance, Marcus. The yeah. alliance tabbed Trump. Right. Yeah, they had said. I mean, you talk about indictments. Uh, what was it? Seventeen thousand sealed indictments. Military tribunals. Now, the, the people that are calling for military tribunals are also trying to say that they're constitutionalists. Now, that's, you know, that's the most one of the most unconstitutional things that yeah. you can imagine. And, and, and they're, overriding they're the, the Constitution. Same, and they're the same people cheerleading for martial law. It's insanity. Right. It's insanity. Right. Yeah. Bring it on, man. I want to see National Guard troops in every town, Marcus. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming. I mean, it's coming. It so where do be. we where do we where do we go from here with this Q thing? What you tell me? Because I I don't know. I mean, I I summed it up, you know, like uh, for me in my mind a year ago. I, I looked at it. I said, uh, well, this is this is definitely not 
a leak of some sort from the from the top. It could be some kind of lower level psyop run by you know maybe Kushner and his media guys. Or it's right. very possible. I I don't I don't discount that that that's who could be running it. I just I discount the the content of what they're saying. Like you know, for example. They, you know, Hillary's going to get locked up, Comey, indictments, McCabe. They all got away scot free. They're above the law, right? When, at what right. point do you suck But you it know up? what, Marcus? You yeah. know what? You know what? You know what the plan is? What is the did plan? You, did you see the video, the plan, the cue, the plan to enslave the world? Have you seen that one? No. So they, oh, they, they made this professionally produced, uh, de- like 15 minute documentary. It's total fucking bullshit propaganda but anyway the the uh i I think the plan is this is probably authored in you know tel aviv or langley okay Mm -hmm. it's a it's probably either a department uh of defense dod military psyop along with Mossad psyop or whatever because they give you the indication the clear indications early on that this was Zionist influence because they they refer to Hezbollah as a bad actor, mm-hmm. right? right. And, and 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 they're paving the way for another conflict with Iran, right? And that's right. what that's what the Zionists want. So, yeah, I mean, basically, run, don't walk away from Q. It's been debunked for two years. If at this point, two years on, the only people that still that, that, that they're still really following this or either mentally Ill, Ill or on the spectrum because face it, you know, this is like a, a, a trust-based cult. Right. There is, no, there is no validation. There is no proof. Supposedly Marcus, mm-hmm. uh, George Herbert Walker Bush and John McCain were executed. <laughs> wow. I, I mean that that's the level And this goes out on the cube boards. That kind of information goes right out. He's actually talking yeah, about it. Yeah. The, so so the that's cubes. their plan. They're gonna they're gonna wait for the war criminals to be dying on their deathbeds to execute them. That that, that this is part of their plan. Wow. That's that's amazing justice, stuff, right? Man. Yeah. No, it's amazing. I mean uh, it's I find it fascinating, you know, fascinating. <laughs> you know, I, don't, I don't really have I don't really have any other questions. I just I, I thought it would be interesting, you know, a good talk to um, because there's a lot of people. I mean, I, I say I when I downplay Q, you'll see in this video, there'll be people down in the fucking comments. Say, Conti, you don't know what you're talking about. This guy's <laughs> a jerk off. This fucking guy. We bring this jerk off on to just decredit Q. Q. Watch. Watch what they say. Read the comments, you know, and that's well, fine. You know, it's hey. opinion. It, it I, we got rid of a lot of them, but they're still know, hanging I mean, on, you know. Go ahead. I no, I I mean I again I, I I said we got rid of a lot of them, but a lot of them are still hanging in there, you know. And uh, I feel I mean I do I want to feel empathy, but then then you get attacked for you're not you're not with the plan, dude. Get a haircut, <laughs> brush you're your not, teeth. You're not fucking. living in their psychotic delusion. Right. Mm-hmm. If right. you're not if you're not existing in their psychotic delusional world, then right. what's wrong with you? Right. Well, you know, the, the inmates run the Q asylum. So it, it is what it is. And you can't be these people are impervious to the facts. OK. Right. Now, all these people are all high level takedown, high level arrest. Yet we see Nancy Pelosi and everyone still going about the business. Uh, going about their criminal business, right? Right. right. The, it's, so it's where a, are these people? Who are the high-level no. people that have been taken down? No, Obama? Not zero. We have a picture of him. Is he tweeting? Is Obama allowed to tweet? Is George Bush? I sent you a picture of Bush from last week. Uh-huh. How is he in Guantanamo Bay? Oh, excuse me. That is his clone double. Right. While they, say, they say Julian Assange while, is down there, While the real too. one's being tortured in Guantanamo. Right, right. They say Julian Assange has also mysteriously disappeared or something. He's down in, uh, in I don't know where, but it's someone's locked up somewhere too. Uh, that's so what, yeah, that's see, what, I mean, that's what uh, the bullshit artist George Webb said, right? right. Assange was in was in yeah, Virginia. Yeah, he did. yeah, yeah. George Webb. Yeah, he, him too. Uh, uh, fucking those guys are those guys are all they're all in the 
you know, in the same pot. I just did a story, you know, this morning about uh, OAN, how they, they created this fabricated story about the, you know, the Muslims here in, in New York, they're driving around in Muslim, Muslim cop cars and Shira law. And it's just a fucking, I mean, you're, you're from the city. You live, you know, I ran into yeah. it down the block and you know that that's bullshit. You know, there's, there's, there's Arabic neighborhoods, there's Chinese neighborhoods. That's the neighborhood phenomenon of New York. I just, I'm in Bay Ridge. It's an Italian and Irish neighborhood. There's the, the Mexican neighborhood. Everybody's got their own neighborhood, you know? And, and, uh, and community patrol, right? You know, and 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 shit. But, but here, here's the deal, right? You would you would agree, right? You see that in New York, right? A- absolutely. And and the, uh, the the Jewish community has their own ambulance and, and police uh, <laughs> security, right? So, and they have like a fleet of vehicles, and you know that's okay. But they want to. We we see we see the dialectic being played out. We're being manipulated. Anybody that's watching a, a three letter alphabet um, network or cable TV, right. it, it, you know, disbelieve your lying TV. Why, they're not going to start telling you the truth now after uh, seventy years of lies, right? right. So wh- wh- why right. Are you still pr- why are you still participating? That's it's a my big, big distraction. It's a big distraction. And what is the, who is the real swamp? I, I don't know if you would agree with this, but in my view, the real swamp is, is uh, indisputably, it's the banking industry. It's the Federal Reserve. It's the big banks that are, uh, you know, that are uh, stealing all the money. And if they keep people fighting amongst each other and, and uh, you know, chasing after the wrong bad guy, they get away with uh, murder. And that's why they right. like Trump, I think, you know. It's yes. Yes, I agree with you. And and people and I feel bad for people that don't have a uh, high level of discernment, right? In this in this mass manipulation, it's very difficult to get be led into the weeds by bullshit artists like George Webb or Jason Goodman, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and, or and you can extend that all the way to like the David Wilcox and and uh, Joe Rogans and Alex Joneses of the world. Right? They, they're all full of shit, folks. I mean, mm-hmm. everyone. You, well, yeah, you think you know, getting, I had I had the al- first alternative, yeah, yeah alternative media right alternative media is infiltrated with these devils right I mean I had a first hand a first hand you know run in with with Webb uh, for example he and he's just I mean these guys will, once they try to what they try to do is they try to try to win you over you're our friend be our friend right and then right you know, and you you get you know, Jason Goodman was actually, uh, he was quite, I, I, I perceived him as quite sincere in the beginning uh, when, you know, for, for various reasons. He helped, he helped me uh, with, a, with an exposure of uh, ticket quotas in the city. But beyond that, then he became kind of like, you know, like I was, I was friendly with George. I went to Washington. I went to D.C. to interview George. Right? And then fucking George, it turns out that, I mean, he's just like a, he's like a, like a, uh, like a fire hose of lies, like a fucking, like a Zoltar machine of, you know, just <laughs> one bullshit story after another. Right. And you, oh, right, and especially right. when it's directed directly at you and you, and he makes up 25 different lies all at once. And you say, this guy's so ridiculous. It doesn't like, you know, you got a sister and, and she's, she's, she's a biologist and you're, and, and, the other, and, and none of it is, I don't have a sister and I don't, you know, you know what I mean? Like. You you realize when you're in where you're in your direct contact with a guy like Webb, you realize that it's just it's all bullshit, right? And and he's out there, and he's more popular than you know than ever. And is he? I don't is know. He? I I guess no. I think I knocked him down a couple of notches. I hope. I mean, I I you know I did my best to knock him down, but but uh, certainly um, certainly Q is doesn't seem to be it, it seems to be a sustainable threat, you know. Yeah, I, I think at this point the people are cultists, right? They, it doesn't matter whether the prognostications come to fruition or not. They're impervious to the, to reality. It, it, you know, they're impervious to reality. It doesn't matter. They, I, you know, you, you could do probably a psychological, uh, you know, study on this, right? You could study this group uh, as, as a project. You really yeah. could. Yeah, no doubt, man. No doubt. All right. Yeah, but let's wrap it up. So, so plug your, uh, you have a, you have a, you have a, uh, YouTube site. 
Talk about it. Tell me where. Tell tell the people where you got to where they got to go. Yeah, to see you. just 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 uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's my name, Albert Bashai. Here I am. You know, no no uh, pseudonym, no avatar. This is Bashai. B i s h a i. I'll put the links down below, so you'll you'll be yeah, able to. Yeah, this is uh, this is my real face. That's my <laughs> real name. You know, I, I'm at the point, Marcus, where I'm going to live my life speaking the truth to the devil's face, and I don't give a shit what happens. Right, right, right. I'm gonna I'm gonna exist in the real world without any kind of uh, you know uh, jumping through any false hoops and 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 putting on any charades of uh, uh, you know uh, let let's call it like we see it. Right, right. That's kind of, that's kind of where I'm at, and and I don't give a shit any uh, what the consequences are. Right, right. No doubt, man. So thank you so much, Albert. Thanks for coming on. Uh, and uh, thanks for having we'll, me, Marcus. I yeah, we'll keep it. it. We'll keep it going, man. We'll maybe you know as the as the weather breaks and um, you know there's going to be a lot of a lot of activity. We're rising, uh, you know, the a lot of the the uh, the people that were once thought of, thought of as truth tellers are actually surfacing as big liars. So there's a lot of room for us to. Uh, Absolutely. To get in there and actually, you know, speak the truth, you know, unpartisan and uh, keep it up, Albert. Thanks for coming on, man. Thank you, brother. Uh, peace out. So. Yeah, man. So that's Albert, man. Fucking good guy, right? You like that guy? So, uh, you know, so he's on the same page. We're all we're all saying the same thing, right? Is that, you know, fucking that Q is it's not believable. Right. Is it believable? Do people still believe? Do people still believe in in the in the ma magical mystical cue? I want to believe. I want to believe so bad that 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 this the swamp is going to be drained and everything is going to be okay. <sighs> Hopium. Yeah. Marcus Conti reporting.